Hi, I'm Val Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day. Thank you so very much for being here on the Val Beebe Show. I hope you had a fabulous weekend like I did. It was reviving. So, but I'm now back to work like you. Thank God we have jobs. So, I want to give you my first guest, Roshanda. She's a passionate patient advocate, and she's managing her kidney disease failure. So she's here to tell us a little bit about managing and overcoming kidney disease despite COVID-19. Rashonda, welcome to the Val Derivi Show. Thank you very much for having me. I'm so excited to be here this morning. Rashonda, give us a little insight. I know this is very personal, but tell me about your kidney disease so they can understand mm -hmm. when you are so positive about overcoming this. So, you know, I was diagnosed with kidney failure during my second pregnancy, um, and it may be scary for most people, you know, but I really didn't have any signs and symptoms. I had high blood pressure for over 20 years, um, and I didn't know that my kidneys were failing. The only thing that I presented with was fatigue, but being pregnant, I didn't think anything of it until I ended up in the ER. Um, and that was pretty much when I was diagnosed with my chronic kidney failure. So what I want people to know is what some of the signs and symptoms are that they should be looking for just in case, which include frequent urination, fatigue, which is what I had, shortness of breath, itching, and even swelling of your hands and feet. Now, some of these symptoms you may never experience so I urge people to talk with their healthcare provider, ask to be screened to see if you're at risk for chronic kidney failure. That's so important, Roshanda. You mm -hmm. said something mm -hmm. about hypertension because that yeah. is something yeah. that plagues the uh, African American community. So mm -hmm. that played a role in your kidney failure, you said, correct? Absolutely. So what people may or may not know is that the leading cause of chronic kidney disease is diabetes and high blood pressure. It accounts for 75% of new diagnosis. So it's a big deal um, to be able to know that you should even question if there's anything else you should be concerned about when you have a diagnosis of high blood pressure or diabetes and make sure that you are getting those screenings for those other things. My notes say, Roshanda, that one in three Americans are at risk of developing chronic kidney disease. Yeah, how... Yeah, so, I mean... Oh, I'm sorry, I just didn't hear the last end of your question. I apologize. You told us, you know, how you brought it to light in your own life. How do you live mm -hmm. with it? Well, you know, believe it or not, I have been able to manage this in a way that has been, that has provided me freedom. Um, I do home hemo. So I am at home. It allows me the flexibility to be available for my family. Um, it allows me to do things that, you get out of the bed and you're able to do every day, which is really important to me. I do my treatment solo. I don't do it necessarily alone because I have a great training team at Fresenius who has trained me to be able to get through this treatment on a daily basis. Um, and in addition to that, there's 24 hour nursing and technical support. But here's the other thing that's really important to understand is you know, we're in a really strange time, right, with COVID. And this is a, a time that for individuals like me with compromised immune systems can be extremely scary. I'm actually one in 11 times more likely to get hospitalized with COVID than the average person. But due to the fact that I'm doing my home dialysis and I've recently been vaccinated, completely vaccinated, yay! Um, you know, I'm able to have more freedom. I'm able to do more, and that's really important. What I want you to know is this is my experience. This is what I have gone through, and yours may be a little different from mine, but I urge you, please talk to your healthcare provider. Find out what best treatments are available to you. I want my audience to remember that March is National Kidney Month. And this is mm -hmm. to help bring 
awareness of kidney disease. Remember, talk to your physician. Tell them anything that you even remotely think you heard in Roshanda's conversation. Roshanda, your final advice to those who are at home, uh, I've heard that doctor visits are down for various conditions. Yeah. So what I want to tell people is I want you to advocate for yourself. I want you to start asking why until you get an answer that makes sense to you, not just any answer, but one that makes sense to you. I want you to be loud about your health and I want you to be loud about what it is that you need. The other thing I want people to do is in the meantime, if you can't get to the doctor's office, please check out for SiniusKidneyCare.com. We have a wealth of information on there that can help you and guide you to what it is that you need to do in order to see if you're at risk for chronic kidney disease. Again, that's for SiniusKidneyCare.com. And one more thing, my producer told me I forgot to ask you, your soul sounds so strong. What role has your belief played in this? Well, believe it or not, I, you know, I was raised Christian. My grandfather was a pastor. So um, I, I just try to stay positive. I always look at everything as the glass half full, never half empty. I'm thankful for what I have and what I'm able to do. That's the best thing. You know, I believe if you've never said a prayer, but if you've all only said thank you, you have prayed. I want That's to thank right. you for being here and talking and inspiring my audience because I know someone needs your advice. So thanks for being a guest on the Bounder BB Show. I'll never be the same after hearing your story. Thank you very much. I appreciate you having me. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Bounder BB. I host the Bounder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.